Hallelujah. Family, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. We choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Man, we just praise God for another opportunity to gather together to worship and praise. We got members of the family here in the house with us. They got their hands together. Come on, put your hands on it. We want to thank God for the team that's here. Oh, listen, this is first Sunday. It's communion Sunday. Get your family together. Get your bread, get your wine, get your water, get your juice. Oh, we get ready to worship God. Call a friend, call a neighbor, tweet, email somebody, tell them. Friendship is live right here from the sanctuary. God is blessing. Come on and worship with us. Come on, open your mouth and say it. Every praise. Every praise. Hallelujah. To our God. Every word of every worship. Every word of worship. Hallelujah. With one accord. Come on, say it. Every praise. Every praise. Y'all know how we go. Every praise. Come on, put your hands to on. To our God. And dedicate this one to the Floyd family. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. To our God. God is in the Glory. place. Hallelujah. I feel to you. Come on. God. Every praise. Every praise. Hallelujah. Come on, family. Every prayer. To our live stream it's family. To our God. Yeah. Every prayer. Every prayer. Hallelujah. To our God. Every word of worship. Every word of worship. Every word of worship. Every prayer. Every prayer. Every word of Every prayer. Hallelujah. To our God. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. To our God. Glory, hallelujah, it's to our God. Every praise, every praise, everyone, every praise, it's to our God. Every praise, it's to our God. Every word, every word of worship, we want to call it Every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise, it's to our God. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah to our God. Glory, glory hallelujah to our God. Every praise, every praise, every word, every praise to our God. Come on, all over the world, put your hands on. Oh, you are 
Hallelujah. We dedicate that one to the Floyd family. We heard that was one of their favorite songs. Oh, we, God deserves every praise this morning. He deserves every praise. He deserves every praise. Time we thank you for logging in and tuning in to our online family. We thank God for you. Elder Victor Bunsen is here this morning. He's going to come and lead us in our scripture, in our prayer. Then we're going to have communion together as a family. Grab this. Get your family around the table. Get your elements. We're going to celebrate Holy Communion today. We give God praise for you and for you. Hallelujah. morning church it's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord just one more time we are celebrating communion this morning I'm coming with the reading of the word out of Matthews chapter 26 the 26 through the 30th and it reads and as they were, were eating Jesus looked, took bread and blessed it and he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. But I said unto you, I will not drink his full of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my father kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Father, we come to you in prayer this morning, Lord. Thanking you first of all for awakening us this morning and for your son, Jesus Christ, Father, who died on the cross for us as we take his body and his blood, eat and drink this morning, Father. I just pray that you bless us through this. Father, I just pray for this, this world this morning. Lord, the anger in this world It's bad when you wake up, you're angry about the situation that's going on. Father, I just pray that you step in. This racism thing has got to come to an end, Lord. It must, Father. It took a man's life for all this to to come forward, Father. People worrying about the loon and, and the destruction. But what about the man, life? Lord, it's bothered me. And like most people I call it, it bothers them as well, Lord. Lord, I just pray that you just Touch this world and let it be at peace, Father. We need peace, Lord. And Lord, you just showing us that we can do all things through you, Father. This protect as they demonstrate, Father. The same way that they're demonstrating, we need to get out and vote, Lord. And we can control this. But as long as we just Speaking and not going to the polls, nothing gonna happen. We still don't get the same old result. We still don't get the same, Lord, forgive me, the same idiots in, in the White House. 
Father, I just, I'm angry this morning. And I just thank you for the, for just blessing me in this church, Lord. Lord, I just pray that you carry us throughout this day. Lift us up and keep us safe and covered. Father, for this family. In Psalm 91, you gave us a promise, Father, that you said you will let no evil or pledge come near our dwelling, Father. Cover us, Lord. Keep us safe. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. I want to praise God for Elder Victor Bussey leading us in our reading of our word, our scripture, our prayer this morning. Family together as we celebrate communion this morning. We want to thank God for another opportunity to call to our remembrance the sacrifice that God made for us. He died so that we wouldn't have to. And as we're celebrating this morning, his death, we're remembering all of our brothers and sisters who have given their lives as a ransom for us. These are martyrs. George Floyd, Aubrey, Brianna. These are modern day martyrs, God. They have given their lives so that we might be free. So as we celebrate communion today, God, we remember their families. Family, we want to thank you all for the ones who came by to get your communion cup and your wafer. Take it out at this time. Hallelujah. As our family here that's with us this morning they will be celebrating communion with us as well hallelujah thank you Oh God. Hallelujah. Family, this is our the way we will be taking communion and from now until God returns, I believe. So as you lift the top part of your element, just the top part and take out the wafer. Lift it, give thanks. Take ye, 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 all of it. Hallelujah. As you lift the cup, as you lift the element, carefully lift the top off of the juice.
Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to celebrate your life. And just like you came back to be with us, all of our brothers and sisters who have given their lives, we will see them again. Bless their families today, God. As Brianna celebrated her birthday this week, hallelujah, young martyrs, just like you were, Jesus, when you were officially taken away from us. Bless these families. Bless all of us. Bless our families. Bless our FBC family, God. Bless our live street family. All those who partake in this celebration. We give you thanks in Jesus name. Amen. This week in our FBC Senior Spotlight, we recognize Anaya Freeman and Aaliyah Luke. Anaya Freeman. Anaya is a graduate of Greenbrier High School and is the daughter of LaDonia McClady and Eric Freeman. She has two sisters, India Freeman and Ayana Elam. Anaya plans on attending Mercer University and majoring in psychology. When asked what is her favorite scripture, she took us to the book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, which reads, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Anaya states one of the best decisions she's ever made was joining Friendship Baptist Church and being reborn in Christ. When asked about injustices and some of the protests that are going on around the country, Anaya stated, quote, Black Lives Matter, something that should be said every day and not just when an innocent black person is killed by a policeman. Every day, Black Lives Matter. The world is full of hate, greed, and pain. We shouldn't be afraid to walk down the street or blast our favorite sound on the radio or go for a jog around our neighborhood. Our people are tired of being treated unjustly. We have to make a change. It starts with us." End quote. FBC recognizes Anaya Freeman. Congratulations. Our next spotlight takes us to Aaliyah Brianna Luke. Aaliyah Brianna Luke is a 2020 graduate of Harlem High School. She is the daughter of Tanisha Dorsey and the late Larry Luke Jr. Her siblings are Austin and Kamora Luke and Malin Dorsey. Aaliyah's future plans are to attend Augusta University on a softball scholarship and major in kinesiology to become a physical therapist. When asked what is her favorite scripture, she stated the 23rd Psalm and asked if she could tell us something about herself that her church family may not know. Aaliyah stated that she had received perfect attendance for 12 years while in school. And when asked about COVID-19, if it had changed her perspective in any way, and if so, how, she stated, quote, yes, it made me realize I can't take anything for granted, end quote. And asked about her best decision she's ever made, she stated her best decision is when she accepted her softball scholarship from Augusta University so that she could remain close to home and being with family and friends. When asked about Black Lives Matter and what it means to her, she stated, quote, it means that the world needs to focus more on equality. If everyone sees people through God's eyes, they would have a different outlook on life, end quote. FBC recognizes Anaya Freeman and Aaliyah Luke. This has been your moment in the Senior Spotlight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say amen to that. Amen. 
Come on, let's give God a hand praise for Anaya and Aaliyah. Oh, those are our babies, man. We just, man, we just so grateful to God for them. Man, it's speaking that heart. God has blessed them. Again, we're going to celebrate them on the fourth Sunday. Oh, we got a powerful worship experience planned for them on the fourth Sunday in this month as we bless them real good and just thank God for blessing them. Amen. Amen. Just powerful young people. Uh, we have 10 graduates this year, high school and, and college graduates, and we're honoring them. And we just want them to know this morning that God is able. Oh, just wave your hand and say, he is able. He is able. Yes, he is. He's able. He's able. He's able. I know what the job market looks bleak right now. But God is still able. Oh, we want to dedicate this one to our class of 2020. He's able. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hand together with us. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, family. Just put your hand together like that. Hallelujah. We got family here in the house with us. Praise the Lamb of God. Yes, he is, class of 2020. He's able. I know that he can do it. He said he helped me through it. He's able. Come on, right there in your living room. Just clap with us. Hallelujah. He's able. He's able. He can do it. He said he helped me through it. Hold on, my brother. Yes. It's gonna come. Hallelujah. Be strong, my sister. For your work is not done, no. Oh, yeah. Keep on believing. Yeah. And hold, hold on, on tight. tight. He's able to, to give, give you joy. joy. In the morning light. He's able. Hallelujah. Class of 2020. He's able. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, he'll make a way for you. Said he's able. And I know you can. I know that he can do it. He said he'd help me through it. Hold on, my brother. All the protesters. Change is gonna come. Keep on believing. Be strong, my sister. Hang on in there. For your work is not. No, keep on believing and hold on tight. He's, He's able, able to give you joy in the morning light. Say, He's able. able. Come on, right there. You're there. Just rock with us. Hallelujah. He's able. Hallelujah. Say, He's able. Come on, give him a big hand praise if you know he's able. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. You Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, just wave your hand and give God away praise. Come on, open your mouth and shout, God is able. Oh, yes, he is family. Hallelujah. Class of 2020, we want you to know that God is able. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And I'm prophetically declaring right now today that for every one of our graduates, he will make a way out of no way. Oh, yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. God has great things in store for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be discouraged. Hallelujah. Even ye to all our protesters, some of them that are watching even now as they're marching in the streets, we want them to know this morning that God is able. Oh, yes, he is. His eyes are watching us and he sees everything that we're going through right now. Hallelujah. It's giving time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Family, we thank you so much for sowing faithfully. Hallelujah. Being faithful in your tithes and your offerings and sowing into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. As we continue to bless God's kingdom, we continue to sow into the vineyard. Hallelujah. We continue to take care of our elders. Thank God for them. Amen. Our greeters, I just want to pause and, and support our ministry supporters. We call them our greeters uh, that are getting our house in order as our members are coming in. Man, we're doing our temperature checks, doing our social distancing, and wearing our masks. We are keeping our people safe. Oh, yes, we are. We're keeping our people safe. And we're planning... We are planning uh, our reopening uh, August the 2nd, our first Sunday in August. We believe in God that we're, we'll be able to come back together as a family on that week. But and during the weeks leading up to that, we are meeting. We, are, we have a reopening task force. We have a re-entering, re-entry task force. We're meeting again next week. Everything that we need to have in place for our people to return safely, we will be ready. Hallelujah. Everything that we need to do as you enter the sanctuary, we will be ready. So we thank you so much for your giving. Uh, we want to thank our faithful sons and daughters for coming in. Uh, those of you who came by the last two weeks to pick up your communion uh, elements. We're so good to see you. You were looking good. Went by last week and checked on all of our elders. Everybody is doing good. God is blessing us. Oh, I how y'all be? Y'all by? <laughs> y'all have to excuse me. I know I'm going live all over the world. But God, God is blessing our family. He's keeping our people healthy and strong and blessing us beyond measure. And we're just grateful he's given us instruction on how to navigate through this season, this last day season. We're going to be talking about that in a few minutes, man. Just thank God. But let's give. Let's give. Go to our website, friendshipministries.net. Download the Givelify app. You can sow that way via Givelify. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You can mail in your seed. Hallelujah. You can mail it in. Friendship Ministries. Hallelujah. Post Office Box 2773. Evans, Georgia. You see it on your screen. 30809. Amen. Amen. Continue to grow close to God. Covenant with God now like never before become a tither hallelujah it's going to be very important family as god began to flip this economy hallelujah the wealth of the wicked that has been laid up for the righteous is being released now hallelujah position yourself to receive everything god has for you oh this is our new normal yes we're tithers now we're tithing now we're tithing like never before in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. This is the new normal. Hallelujah. And God is going to rebuke the devourer for our sake. Oh, God cannot lie. He said it in his word. When you tithe, he rebukes the devourer for your sake. Hallelujah. He opens the windows of heaven. Hallelujah. And pours us out more blessings than we have room enough to receive. We're grateful. We're grateful send it in hallelujah mail it in hallelujah get it in your hand hallelujah father we thank you 
We thank you for every seed. Hallelujah. We thank you for every tither. We thank you for every sower. Hallelujah. We know that your word says you give seed to the sower. Oh, we thank you for the seed. And we thank you for the sores this morning. God, we thank you for the faithfulness of our family. Hallelujah. They have been faithful. Yea, almost three months into this pandemic. Your people have been faithful. You have been faithful to us. Hallelujah. Very few of us have been out of work. Very, very few of us have been on layoff. Hallelujah. Ones that were laid off are now back to work. God, you just been so good to us. You're keeping us strong. You're keeping us healthy. You're blessing our children. Hallelujah. We're just grateful, God. And we will continue to sow into your kingdom and bless people all over the world, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, keep your hand on us. Keep your hand on us. Keep your hand on us, God. Bless your people like never before. We love you for it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, those are our live stream family. Hallelujah. You can sow as well via the Givelify app. Look for Friendship Baptist Church. Hallelujah. God will honor that. He will bless you. Hallelujah. We thank God for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, family. God bless you. Come on, as we begin our worship, we worship God. Hallelujah. Just wave your hand right there and say hallelujah. Oh, it's the highest praise. <laughs> it's the highest praise. It's the highest praise.
Lift up your voice and say now Hallelujah You have won it all for me Death could not hold you down You are You are the reason And see that resting in the house amen again we want to thank our media ministry hallelujah for their faithfulness our sound technicians amen what a blessing it is to to be able to go out all over the world to carry the word of god hallelujah to live stream our worship experience we want to thank god for our members our family members who are joining here with us today hallelujah they can feel the presence of god in this place oh thank god for our musicians amen our greeters who are keeping the house safe amen 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 i tell you man god's people
God's people are stepping up during this season. And I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I am so grateful, family. God is, is doing something. God is doing something in the earth realm. I think it's very clear to see that the hand of God is moving all over this world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're going to continue to pray. We're going to continue to protest. We're going to continue to serve and, uh, and see what the end going to be. Yeah, Grandma and them used to say, I will see what the end is going to be. But it's, it's our responsibility to let you know clearly what God is doing in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. 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 We see what's happening physically and in the natural realm in our world. But God is doing this. And it's our responsibility to sound the alarm to let our family know what God is doing in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. We're going to Matthew 24. I want to pray as we go there. Because family, I need you to hear me very good today, very closely. Hallelujah. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to teach this. Because God is speaking to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we just bless you for another opportunity to open your word. We are just elated. Just please, God, to see your word being unfold right in front of our eyes. Everything that is written there. Everything you've spoken. We're seeing it manifest in our world. And we thank you, Lord, for the validity of your word, for the power of your word for the transformative nature of your word thank you God for your word in Jesus name amen hallelujah family I I, uh, I got a warning I need to I need to warn you now that the images that you're about to see are very disturbing. This message is for mature audiences. Hallelujah. This image that we saw this week was very significant. I won't try to go into depth about what this image represents God is going to reveal slowly to us the significance of this move I'm going to touch on it toward the end of this word but I was very disturbed very disturbed by what I witnessed I didn't really know how to interpret what I was seeing when the president of the United States of America called in the military forces and sprayed tear gas and shot rubber bullets at peaceful Americans that were protesting. Also, he could leave the White House and walk across the street to a church with a Bible in his hand and hold it up for the world to see. Oh my God. The paradox and the symbolism expressed in that moment. Immediately I began to go into prayer and I asked God, what meaneth this? Hallelujah. We're going to Matthew 24. I'm going to walk through a, a conversation that Jesus was having with his disciples. They asked him a question about the end times. 
the apocalypse. The complete and final destruction of the world. Jesus describes visual images here of the things that would be seen prior to his return. A season that theologians refer to as the end of the age. Jesus and his disciples had just left the synagogue. They just left the temple. And when they stepped outside, they paused and they looked around and they saw all of the magnificent structures, the, the palaces, the huge palaces, the, the, the monuments, the huge pyramids. And Jesus said something to them. He said, boys, look at all of this. He said, the day is coming when all of this would be completely destroyed, demolished, not one stone will be left on top of the other. Verses three through six. I want, to, I, want to, I want to walk through these three verses. Now, as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, tell us when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Jesus answered and said to them, take heed that no one deceives you. Hallelujah. For many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ and will deceive many. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Family, understand very clearly that, that, that Jesus was telling us, telling his disciples at that time that the time would come in our world where deception would be the order of the day. Hallelujah. Lying, cunning, conniving people would be in control and they would deceive many. Hallelujah. He said, you are here about wars and threats of wars, civil unrest. Hallelujah. Watch this now. Jesus says, all of this would be signs that the end is near. Ah, uh, family, you need to hear me now. Hear me now. God said, these are signs that the end is near. Verse 7, hallelujah, verse 7 and 8. Jesus continued to teach his disciples. They said, he said, for nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places hallelujah hallelujah he says all these are the beginning of sorrows Ooh, help us right here holy ghost i, I need i need you to hear me family i need you to understand that this <laughs> this is just the beginning what we're witnessing now hallelujah hallelujah this is just the beginning nations we we'll fight against nations. When the Bible uses the term nations in the Greek, that means groups of people. Groups of people. That's we are. Israel was called, God's people was called the nation of Israel. Nation represents groups of people. What Jesus was saying was that at the end, in the last days, there will be groups of people that will be fighting against other groups of people. He said there will be famines. There will be pestilences hallelujah man we're right in the midst of a pestilence right now a pandemic fatal epidemic disease that's pestilence jesus told us that these things would come yeah. hallelujah hallelujah he said there'll be famines there'll be pestilences there'll be earthquakes in many places of the world but watch this i want you to understand this very clearly hear this he said and these are just the beginning of sorrows <laughs> hallelujah oh yeah this thing telling you just beginning hallelujah yeah we yeah we we are just beginning this i want to go to verse 9 we're gonna read 9 through 12 this 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 blew me away when god showed me this hallelujah verse 9 look at that family he said 
Jesus was teaching this over two millennials ago. He said, then you will be arrested, persecuted, and killed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will be hated all over the world because you are my followers. Hallelujah. Whew. See, you won't hear this in New York, in L.A., in Atlanta. Hallelujah. One of the reasons that we're suffering going through this is because we are the followers of God. Hallelujah. 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 Look at the whole world. Hallelujah is aligning with us. Red people, yellow people, green people, white people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The hand of God is on this movement now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God told us, hallelujah. He told us, he said, and many will turn away from me and betray and hate each other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, and many false prophets will appear and will deceive many people. My God, my God. He told us that we'd be arrested. Hallelujah. 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 You don't even have to, we don't even have to commit a crime to be arrested. Oh, help me right here. Holy Ghost. Elder Bus, I, I think I kind of feel where you at, brother. It's, it's, it's just mind boggling. It, 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 it grieves our spirit to see the things that over 400 years that has happened to our people hallelujah arrested and killed hallelujah persecuted and killed for doing nothing wrong wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute remember jesus the same thing happened to him yes. hallelujah i the brother the same thing happened to him arrested Persecuted, killed for doing nothing wrong. He said, many will turn away from the faith and hate one another. Hallelujah. Oh, I got to prepare my family to what we are about to receive. I got to let you know very clearly that it's getting ready to get very ugly. Hallelujah. Oh, because many of our own brothers and sisters, hallelujah, will, will fall away from the faith, will hate one another. False prophets will emerge and deceive many. Sin will be rampant. Sin will be out of control everywhere, all over the world. Hallelujah. Oh, but the good news is in verse 13. <laughs> oh, that's the good news right there, family. Somebody shout, that's the good news right there. But he and she who endures to the end shall be saved. Hallelujah. I just need you to stick your hand in there and wave your hand and say, I will endure. Oh, yes, we will, family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must endure. How are we going to make it through these last days, man? I'm telling you, God is feeding us word for our people. For the next several weeks, I'm going to be doing a series. I'm calling it Apocalypse Now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to... Listen, family, there are things that we got to put in place. There are strategies that we got to start. There are things that we got to do to help our family endure and we will endure yes we will hallelujah we will we will endure how we got to navigate through these last and evil days listen we are living in the culmination of the end of this age and we must endure hallelujah hallelujah so for the next several weeks man god is going to be giving us revelation on the things that we need to do so we can end endure hallelujah we must endure we must strategize nixon we got to put things in place we got to get get the brothers get the men going we got to get the women and the children man we gotta we got things we gotta do we're gonna be talking about this in the next several weeks because we're gonna have to help each other endure to the end just wave your hand again and say i will endure hallelujah and there is no time to waste Hallelujah. Verse 14. I'm almost done. Get ready, musicians. Listen. He says, and and this gospel. 
Oh, Jesus was teaching the boys. He said, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then, the end will come. See, that's why the pandemic had to shut down the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, that forced all of the preachers and the prophets to start sending the word out over the world wide web. Start sending the word out in the cloud. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because now the word is being preached in all the world as a witness to the nations. And Jesus said, and then the end will come. Oh, my family. Hallelujah. I can't let my family sleep on where we are right now. Hallelujah. To our live stream family, God bless you. You just stay tuned the next several weeks. We're going to be telling you what we got to do to endure. And we don't have time to waste. Now the proclamation of the gospel has gone out to the entire world. And soon the end will come. Hallelujah. I want to go to verse 15. This is what God showed me when I saw that image this week. I began to ask God, God, what meaneth this? God took me to this passage and then he took me to this 15th verse. He said, son, watch this. He said, therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place. Hallelujah. When you see the abomination. Of desolation. I want you to know President Trump standing in front of that church. Making a mockery of God. Holding up God's word. That was a. Declaration. Hallelujah. That was a sacrilegious optic that causes desecration standing in the holy place. Oh, family, I'm going to break this open in the next few weeks. But hear me right now. Hear me. Don't miss this. This was the inscription of the movement of the Antichrist. Son, just play softly right there. I feel my heart. Hallelujah. This, this, this thing now. He cued the execution of the release of the spirit of the anchor Christ. Therefore, when you see the admonition of the desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place. Why he had to use the military to move back peaceful protesters. Why he had to walk and stand in front of that church and hold high the word of God. Hallelujah. What he was really saying to the world. I'm God. My word. What I say goes. Oh, this happened back in Nebuchadnezzar days. This God, this is God. This is nothing that God hasn't seen before. God is warning us. He's warning us. Now we have seen the abomination of the desolation that was spoken by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place. It's almost over, y'all. Hallelujah. And we're going to get our people ready. We're going to get our people ready to endure. Hallelujah. This season. Hallelujah. Pray with me. Father, I just, I just bless you for the revelation of your word. Father, we kind of knew that we were there. But this week, you set it off. For the whole world to see. 
you broadcasted it live and in color that now the signification of the desolation and the execution of the Antichrist has been released in the earth. Father, we know that we're standing on the cusp of the last days, the culmination of the end of this age is upon us. And I just thank you, God, that your hand is on your people. Thank you. Your hand is on your people. Oh, and we are going to endure to the end. Shaya Bokashaya. Yes, God, it's going to get rough. And it's going to be hard. And the things we're going to witness and the things we're going to see. Hallelujah. But your grace and your mercy will see us through. Father, we're praying now for your world. For your children. Father, we're praying for the families of the martyrs. These young Africans, black men and women who have given their lives as martyrs for this season. Comfort their families, God. Bless their families. Especially the Floyd family, God. This, 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 the hideous nature of this murder, this lynching being broadcast all over the world had to be shown this way to trigger what we witnessed this week. The end of the age is on us. And we're going to be ready, God. We're going to endure. We're going to hang in there. Because we're going to trust in you. And we know you're going to bring us through. Father, for any man or woman, boy or girl, that might not be in covenant relationship with you, we want to invite them to pray the prayer of salvation. Yes, even now, God. Even now, come on. Get on the Lord's side covenant with God hallelujah ask God to forgive you of your sin and come into your heart and be Lord of your life just ask God to lead you and guide you hallelujah and bless you and he will save you right where you are hallelujah family I thank God for you hallelujah as we begin to galvanize our spiritual selves to get ready to make it through this last day we thank you hallelujah hallelujah thank you family god bless you we love you to our family that's joining with us today god bless y'all it's good to see you to our praise team god bless you our greeters our media ministry our musicians man i tell you to see the bible to see the word of god come alive it's a blessing Hallelujah. We'll see you next week. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Praise God, family. Man, we are so delighted that you joined with us today. Listen, it is our prayer that you were blessed by the word of God and by the worship experience here at Friendship Baptist Church. We're going to be praying for you this week. Keep us in prayer, and may God continue to bless you. Thank you for tuning in.